Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. Oh, yeah. Yep. Remember, remember Bethesda Souza. No, what was? was remember it? Part, was it? Was run it the part? clips. Run all the deaths right now. Clip show. Enhance. Is it running? Did oh. it happen? Oh, hold on. I, I'm not full screen. There we go. All, all right. right. Thank. Run the clips. Run them. Wow. Wow. Like it just happened. <laughs> Flashback. I should get a flashback sound effect on my soundboard. All right. We are um, going to wait like two days or a day. Wait, wait, wait like 1,400 turns. How do you wait, wait? Shift W. 400? Uh, let's do, yeah, 400 is fine. We could do some shopping. Sunrise, sunset. He's back. Yeah, we can talk to him. See if see if he has anything to say yet. Yeah. But the, but the man, I brought the decoded signal to Baratham, and he's finished musing on it. We have fresh instructions for you, journey friend. Are you ready to hear them? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's do it. Baratham needs. You, for an undertaking of great importance, you must journey to Amon Porch. Amon Port? Among us. Among us, far to the north. There, the spindle stretches from earth to sky. Unfortunately, a troublesome merchant from the consortium of Paita has relocated there and declared itself Earl of Amon Port. We need you to broker a deal so that we may lease control of the spindle. Failing that, you'll need to dispose of the self-appointed Earl. Be careful on your approach to Amon Pork journey, friends. So far east into the reaches of Cud, the Perth. Putus, Putus Templar. Lie in wait. Who are they? Uh, the sons and daughters, as they call themselves, are an order of knights who claim descendancy from the Eaters, the ancient folk who wrought the chrome halls of Cud. Beware them, for while they despise all mutants, they harbor a special malice for Barathum. Take care that you do not find yourself inside one of their slave pens. Tell me why. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, new quest. Yeah, I'll get your... I'll spindle your... spindle. New quest, who dis? Oh, that man. Oh, right. Where are we right. going? Well, we're going to go to Ezra. It's uh, It's been a long time coming. So let's let's go to Ezra. To Ezra. No. No. Yes. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, the next couple of quests are interesting. There's a, a few story beats that uh, are, are going to be, like, really dramatic. And um, the Earl of Omen Porch is one of them. A, a kind of an unusual quest because there's not really a dungeon associated with it. So you're going to go straight for that spindle. But you okay. have to go... Yeah, you're going to go one tile below it. So, like, the kind of gateway. Yeah, that one. That is Ezra. Hmm. Oh boy, ruins. Shh, posterior. Quiet. You found dad ass. We are inspired. I'm hobbled. You are hobbled. You're going to be taking a little bit of damage from bleeding, but that's fine. Iron daggers, huh? Yeah, so... Uh, what can I tell you? I mean, uh, Ezra is a important place, and it's a place you can go very, like, you could go there right away in Caves of Cut if you wanted to. Um, and it's something I wanted to resist telling you about, because uh, once you know that you can go there right away if you want to, um, a lot of the edge of Caves of Cud, um is kind of cut in half. In, in, in some regard. Like, you could, you know, die on your way there for sure. Um, it is a very kind of out of the way place to go. Want some Naphtali here? Oh my god. Your favorite. My favorite. Well, honestly, I'll take seed sowers over half the crap you 
been found in uh, Bethesda Sousa. So, I'm fine. We got Steel Axe, Chain Gauntlets, Sower Seed. You took the Sower Seed, so now you have grenades again. A Ziv Bow? Honestly, I don't even know if it would be worth coming back to Bethesda Sousa for you because the number of like nasties you found there, they're all things that I don't like encountering at any level, regardless, you know, uh, like, especially at level 25. I mean, gyro humors can take you out even as late as level 30. They're, they're seriously nasty. This was... Well, this place a, sucked. I mean, you could crack open that nut in the center there. It might might be something. Make sure you have your pickaxe so you can penetrate that posterior. Uh, oh, I mean, that works, I suppose. Oh, yeah. You can, like, click a, a line. Oh, look! All Books. the goodies are inside. That's why it's a, it's a library. That's why we have to shush. Deliver to Clank. Ooh, an illuminated book. Electrofugue. Where? It is worth more. It's worth more experience as well as money. Smacko. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. I just like I just like do a, do a line across the whole thing, break open the whole thing. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. Uh oh. Oopsie daisy. And come on. Amazing! You went north exactly for one frame and found a friend. Did you wow. Just die already? Are you? Uh, you're not wielding your weapon, right? I am. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm using my fullerite mole. I've got the the dig in the other hand, my off hand. Right. Just wondering why you were doing so little damage there. He's blocking it. Oh. Or I'm blocking it. That's why fine. am I dying? It should be okay. I don't know why you're dying. Nah, it's nothing. Yeah, I think that this place is pretty whatever well I got some books all right I need to I need to eat the oh, white trees let's make a meal oh god we've tried this so many times it almost feels not worth it now um I, what can I say try again I don't know if cider is what we want oh you're, you're doing salve and whole honey what was that? Skulk. It's Skulk. You're skulk, right. and uh, we're gonna try Star Apple Jam, and that's just to ensure that we get three choices. Don't super want the effects of Star Apple Jam, but we'll take them. Okay, plus four DV. None of that is what we want. My God, we are having some bad luck with this. I mean, sure. Yeah, I mean, that, that top one isn't terrible. Might actually uh, prove worthwhile. You know, that's funny. 9% chance you have a 50% chance to dismember or slam your opponent. That means that you have a 5% chance, which is actually, I think, pretty good compared to actually dismembering your opponent. How did I find ruins by going up? Because technically going up means traveling on your current tile, and there's nine tiles associated with that tile. If you want us to find less ruins, we can take off the precinct navigator. But generally speaking, tiles are good, or uh, ruins are good. I thought maybe we were going to get the historic site on that one, since it seemed to mention the uh, important named object. Hey, we found out about a new historic site, didn't we? Uh -huh. We should... Oh, is that a robot? I think we saw... There's a legendary robot for a split second there. No, no, no. Just get killed enough to tell Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's uh, try and rebuke that guy. Uh, it's on your second page, I guess? Yes! Into submissions. Share a dram with them. You should be on good terms with all these guys now. 
chat. Uh, I guess we should ch check their reputation first. Yeah, they are hated by Daughters of Exile. That's kind of a bummer. But honestly, Robot Rep is almost worth it. I'd, I don't know. I'd, I'd say do it. Daughters of Exile kind of sucks. But, you know, we should be able to... We should be fine. Corroded Idol of Mozo. Yay. Um, Increased by 100. So we are maybe one more legendary away from being on like neutral terms with robots oh we can yeah we can share some reputation uh, some some secrets <laughs> tell them where the goat folk village is oh that was a what oh is it giving you naftali reputation not robot i guess that makes sense that's actually totally okay because if we're on neutral terms with naftali um, then the next time you encounter exactly this situation again, which is not uncommon, um, it'll be easier to share a dram. You won't have to rebuke them. Nice. Direct to stay here? Yeah. That's a good thing to do. And now these guys are all chill with me? Indifferent? It's kind of a coin flip. They might... Yeah, they, they're, they're good with you. They seem, they seem chill. Funny, he well, that's not... certainly a time saver. Sorry? It's a time saver. Yeah. Um, if you can get on neutral ground with robots, first of all, you'll have done something... Oh my god. Just like randomly finding legendary gats? What does that one do? Tutors, wintry, wintry gun. I'm guessing some kind of freezing. Yeah, cold resistance. That would have been helpful about five seconds ago. <laughs> Although we would not have been able to use the sniper rifle with that. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, you would have you'll you'll have done something I never could, which was make friends with robots, and also um, diving into ruins is going to be so much easier for you because turrets won't be mad at you. Um, her tinkerers will be ch chill with you. You can still fight them for bits, but like you can ch pick and choose your battles. It also means you can go to some of the more dangerous parts of, of Cud without like the instant kill monsters actually instant killing you. Well, some that the, sounds okay. Some of the most like some of the nastiest enemies in Cud are robots, including uh, debatably the toughest enemy in the entire game. I don't particularly enjoy the ones that take my limbs. My limbs? My limbs. Oh, your your limbs. Yeah, saw handers. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh. Oh. That tree is gonna be fighting that wall for a long time. Okay, we can leave this. We're still heading to heading to Ezra. Doop, doop, doop. No, we don't. Sure, why not? Is this in the banana grove, I wonder? Banana grove? Yeah. Ooh, shush. I think it might be. E what just happened? Uh, you got slammed by a banana tree. So, uh, banana trees are really dangerous in this game. Oh. Actually, well, sorry, it wasn't a banana tree. It was a, um, irritable palm. Palm trees, specifically, are very dangerous. You actually do get some XP for killing those urchins, so it is worth it. Oh, your first urchin whale. Urchin belcher. They, uh, they'll say they're tough. I guess they're average to you, but they're actually not a big deal. Their worst, um, kind of flash-in-the-pan attack is that they drop a bunch of urchins when they die. But they do give you quite a lot of XP. Those are confusion urchins, which are a little bit spicier. 
and sleep. So those uh, those palms the, with the blue leaves there, those you're gonna want to keep away from them. You can fight them from range, and they are worth quite a bit of XP. Mm. Yeah, it was gonna happen. You might take a few steps to your right, so you're out of the gas, and therefore. And a doke to the second. Expedition bound Grenner Dernis Chicken Mimmer and a doke two was captured by bandits. He languished in captivity for two years, eventually escaping to the hamlet of Tim Ripa. Blue leaves bad. Blue leaves bad. You you do see it, right? The one yes. you just walked right next to. I listen, I didn't make that choice. I know. This is funny. This is good. Now, what is teleporting? A sappy cyclopean gibbon? Hmm. Appears to the northwest? I don't see Do no. I want to find that? Well, a big thing happened. Uh. Gibbons are fine. You should be okay fighting a gibbon. There it is. You can fight a gibbon. Okay. Uh, they have a fun trick that you'll uh, learn about soon enough. Oh, nice damage. Oh, never mind. You didn't learn their trick. It'll remain a secret. Mmm. Oh. Another one. Dead. Wow. Lots of irritable palms. I'm surprised you're not trying to hit them. Oh. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, you're in like a really bad spot right now. So I'm engulfed by a red death daca. Yeah, you are. It's another tree, and uh, it will um, it will basically root you in spot. What are, you, what are we gonna do here? Oh, defoliant grenade. What an interesting idea. Do those hurt me? No, not at all. You can also do melee. Like, just move around and you'll do melee damage to it. Stunned. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if that was going to happen. You, uh, oh, you were right golly. next to another irritable palm. <laughs> this is kind of a spicy zone, I won't lie. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that the neat trick? That is the neat trick. Hmm. Isn't that fun? Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if it's actually... Like, the mutation? Oh, yeah, only visible square. But, uh, basically, they have temporal fugue. So, he just, like, traveled back and forth through time to fight you multiple times as himself. Uh, only one of them is them. So, you'll only get experience for killing one of them. But, yeah, you can see it. It doesn't last forever. So, now you can fight it. You might have to control, on, control fight it. There you go. Done. Good call on the hologram. It was a great, great uh, use of it. Um. Try, uh, try taking out one of those palms with your sniper. I'm kind of curious how much XP you'll get from them. You're conking. Got yes, that. I do that sometimes. You do that. Listen. Listen. Well. There we go. This is, this is, this is the cadence. Almost, almost done. Badly wounded. Okay, so you get 290 XP for killing one of those. Worth it? Mm -hmm. I don't know either, honestly. Like, it is 290 XP you can get for free, basically. Um, if you take the time to do so. You could just make a ton of defoliant grenades, I suppose. Although they don't seem to do all that much damage. Unless we made some, like, defoliant grenade Mark threes. There's another red dead red death daca. That that thing. We we super don't need to be here, by the way. <laughs> like, uh, we're gonna have plenty of opportunities to like mess around with ruins, uh, very soon. Did we find anything cool here yet? Uh, no, not really. Well, you got we're here. You got slammed around like three times. Oh, that auto explorer is really getting you into trouble. Um, go uh. Southwest, a couple tiles. There's a banana on that tree. There you go. You got some banana. 
Now the red dead deca. Oh, I can't just punch it, huh? You can control punch it. That's what I did, and I got sucked in. Oh, you you actually did do that? No. Yeah. They are worth 300 XP. So, like, honestly, those are kind of worth it. Even if you get sucked in, they don't do that much damage. The XP rewards on this tile are proving to be better than almost anything else. Cannot wait for you to get slammed through another wall. Ooh, look at this. A little work... Uh, work and trash. Workshop. Metal folding chair. Something else interesting there. Can't quite tell what it is. Huh. In the year of old prayer, you're... We celebrated the founding of the Jeweled Workshop, where highly entropic beings assembled emeralds into contraptions for worshipping the Salt Devil. Nice. Ooh, a 2-bit. What is that to your left? What is that? A light sculpture. A light sculpture. It's like a holographic art. It'd be kind of cool if we had holographic art, you know? Oof. You know, if we had, like, hologram art displays in real life, it would be kind of neat because then like an artist could come up with one display and basically all cities could have that on display you know what i mean like they... i mean we do have hologram technology sort of yeah but it's like not good right well i mean it's certainly not like star trek walking around interacting with stuff good right but if we wanted to make something just to look at, we can do that. We could do that. Also, uh, another cool benefit of holographic art is you could switch it up like once a month. Have yeah. some new art. I, I, it's amazing to me how often I hear complaining about like art sculptures. Like I've, you know, as, like in Toronto, we have a lot of art displays uh, kind of all over the place. And the number of people I hear is like, oh, it's ugly horrible art I'm like i mean i you don't have to like it but i mean it's got to be better than a parking lot right or just like another building I guess it depends on how much you like parking i guess that's true i guess parking lot might be beautiful to some people and not i though all right you're too famished oh, great gosh darn it you're too famished got some bananas More bananas. You want to keep trying? We're not inspired. Hmm, that's true. Yeah, so, no. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I'm like, I don't know. Uh, we're, we are coming up to some free time, though. Some, like, uh, actual, like, cud version of downtime. We could uh, take that opportunity to mess with Dream Smoke. See what that mm. does. We're very close. We have done we, it. We've done it. We've done it. So um, there's always a fly there. And I, I don't know. I always like I try to avoid it, but you could just like kill it. And I don't like that fly. It's a, don't fight it at melee, please. <laughs> you have a sniper rifle. <laughs> um, you don't want to fight it at melee. The cursed run continues. It doesn't have a lot of health. There we go. Perfect. Actually, you, you got kind of lucky with that crit. So, thank goodness. And 625 XP is quite a lot. I don't know why there's always that one fly there. You know, I have never thought to look at these statues, I'll be honest. Oh my, Reshef lore, huh? Boiled lamb of Beatles. You could just do a uh, auto-explore and they'll look at all of this. Or at least the ones you, you don't have. Corrupted Administrator as Minister of Lyceum. Hmm? Yeah. All right, we're good. Oh, you're going to get slammed again. Oh, God, there's another odd eye. Um, Where? You, you've walked by, like, three of them. Just, uh, we, we want to go one north. We want to we wanna not, like, I, I've never spent more than, like, two minutes in this zone. And I, apparently, to my own, uh, you know loss because uh, there's some good stuff here we've made it this is where our next portion is and we we may as well just like kind of uh get this next part out of the way because it's it's not going to take very long so you want to go up and talk to that pink plant 
uh, in amongst their friends. But he's a flower. He is a flower. Hated by mechanimists. I suppose it doesn't make too much. It's not a problem if we are on bad terms with mechanic, or at least like worse terms. We've already been to Bethesda Sue, so we've already been to the place that matters, basically. So, can make so I should share water with this land? Yeah, why not? Uh, reputation with the Consortium of Fida is very good. Now flowers are wow, we're on chill with us. Very bad terms with uh, Makesh. Mechanimus are indifferent to you now. Wow. Yeah. Um, so he is a uh, he's part of the Consortium of Fida, and the Consortium of Fida make up like some of the most powerful merchants in the game. You can grab their clay pot if you want. Um, but yeah, definitely share them some secrets. Oh yeah, they, that makes sense. They're, they're mostly merchants, so they would actually uh, be interested primarily in Dromad Caravan locations. Cool. All right, so... Um, we could learn to be a snake oiler. That would improve... You could... You know what? Honestly, learning that for free would be nice. Um, it'll improve your, uh, how, how, like, the pricing of things when you, when you're buying. And potentially selling? I've never actually thought to learn that from him. Uh, do I need to be... I mean, I'd still be in good rep with him, right? Yeah, you speed lower. Yeah, you'd be fine. There's, like, exactly one reason to want rep with Consortium of Fighter, and that is pricing and of stuff, so you are kind of trading good prices with a consortium of fida for good prices with everyone um i'm still in good rep with them yeah yeah it's just better really better rep means better prices you know, is i done talking to him no yeah we, we have a lot of things to say uh, yeah uh, but, 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 but at least control my swindle you say well well that's a colossal request there's no simple price i can assign to such a thing were i to grant such a request you would owe me a great debt to you and several of your allies so you say, how can I appease you? <gasps> if I was loved by them. Yeah, but we weren't, so it's not a big deal. I will convene a council, the first council of Amman Pork. Send word to four of your allied factions, have them send delegates together, perhaps you can appease me. Yeah? Yeah. So we have three days to kill. And uh, this is what I, I was saying, we, we're going to have time to kill. But there's one more thing we can do here. Um, we're gonna want to go left to the to our tile on the left You can follow that path if you want. I guess the path doesn't lead. There's another one south. Yeah, that one All right, this is Ezra. This is the town next to the entrance to the tomb of the eaters and the spindle and um, this place is filled with uh, banana ranchers and uh, some important merchants your dude's going to smack some fences, apparently, but that's fine. Apparently, we can take that. Go ahead and take all that, yeah. Lol. Just smack their entire wall. Tomorrow depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient Sultan Anadot One, the well of Verkamara. There's a... A couple of people we're going to want to talk to. We'll want to talk to the warden. <clears throat> yeah, you want to... There's wanna... a hole right there, dude. You, yeah, you want to not do that. Dude, stop. 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 It's because you're All wielding right. a pickaxe right now. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. I don't know why we started wielding that. Oh, yeah, ruins. It's to get through a wall. You can equip from here. Yeah. Let's put our sand priestess back in there. Um, let's talk to that plant where oh. I'll just finish my thing now that I'm non-violent. You're good, yeah. yeah. Why don't I actually, uh, since we're here, why don't you check out the meal? There you go. So, um, this is one of the reasons why coming to Ezra sooner than later is quite nice is because then you just get psychometry for free and then you learn all of your uh, technology mm. it's always that recipe here in Ezra so you will always be able to do that so basically when like 
a, a method is like when it's like when you have a few tonics and some chem cells or like you know different cells that you want to learn how to make you can come here and learn how to make them real quick do i have any currently that i don't know um no i think i had you buy the data disc for thermoelectric but outside of that if you had a love injector you we've been really unlucky not finding any love injectors do you have one actually no i don't think you do it would be in uh yeah we don't god damn that's real un 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 unfortunate so yeah but we want to talk to um the plant can't remember his name six shrew can't believe i forgot six shrew six shrew is a good plant he's a very good plant or they sorry not even I, i'm incorrect again actually it's more like zay I, I can't remember but um they've got some uh very good goods including some we don't know um taco suprema is whatever wow are their goods really that bad right now good lord well i guess we could use a blaze injector we did use one but like that's some pretty bad luck we do have a like uh we could learn what all of their stuff is they're they're a plant they don't have tinkering so they don't know how to they don't know what their stuff is they just know it's valuable um do you want me to teach you that recipe for um learning what stuff is yeah all right let's let's go make a meal we're going to cook with bananas and vine wafer sheaf it doesn't really matter if we're inspired or not because bananas now that we have access to ezra um you can buy bananas from any of the banana ranchers i'm pretty sure we'll be we'll get this on the first try though there's not too many things that bananas can do whenever you identify uh, okay well that was the second thing <laughs> so we're gonna want to try again this is right at the very bottom Doop, doop, doop. Boop. Okay, that's not it either. All right. Con continuing our trend of having horrible luck with cooking. Ah, it's good. I'm too full. You are too full. All right, let's 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 never mind that then. Um, why don't we talk to uh, Ela? That's with a Y. We're going to have to buy something from her. Kind of glad or grateful she's not angry with us because I'm pretty sure she belongs to the Daughters of Exile. We can definitely talk to her. Oh, yeah, she's got some engraved strange tubes. Admired by the Hindra Nabela. Oh, my goodness. Yo. The cannabis are really going to hate us. Oh, we're still okay on for them. We can, we can take a, a dislike blow. If we can get dual wielding from Bela, that would be amazing. We're at 250 now favored then. by the Hindu of Bela. I think they require 300 rep for dual wielding. I don't know if you remember. I do not remember. I'm pretty sure it's 300, which is a bummer, but still we're like really close. Huh. Ah, uh, she's interested in um antidote. Information. In antidote, yeah, apparently. We're on better terms with the Daughters of Exile. I just realized we're a true kin build. So we actually have more than one reason to care about Ela. I've been rolling a lot of mutants, so Ela's been a, kind of irrelevant in all of my runs. Um, craft wrist calcs. No, we don't want that. All right. But uh, yeah, we want to we want to trade with her. She's got some good stuff. Put down your mangled trinkets. I will repair them. Uh, the first thing we want is that small stone. You, you, we we can we're gonna buy it. We know exact. I know exactly what it is. You don't have to spend money. It's that's a recoiler for Ezra. Um, she will tell you what the rest of that stuff is though, and we care. 
those are all good stuff. Oh god, never mind. Oh my god. We really need that recipe. <laughs> Ugh. Well, um, we can buy the cybernetics credit wedge. Are you sure? I don't know if we have enough, but we can try. Does she have anything else? Mm. No. Wow. Huh. Well, anyway. Mag hammer? You, no. You might um, have sussed out that uh, they sell cybernetics. Mm -hmm. So all of those weird artifacts are are cybernetics, and we would love to find out what they are. Um, I think we have enough. We can we can certainly try. I guess we're not carrying all that much stuff. And there is more. Well, okay. Um, Six true was selling like garbage, so. There isn't really anything else. This might actually not be worth it. I can sell all the keys. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can sell Tudor's wintry gun. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Uh, maybe, like, don't sell the gold key yet. Because it's actually pretty good trade goods. Yeah. Okay. How come we're not wearing our polyhedral rings? Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, let's make that trade and then put those back on. I don't know what's what the deal is there. Okay, so um, you're gonna wanna like you are going to probably impulsively put a solar cell in the Ezra recoiler, but the Ezra recoiler uh, requires enough juice that the solar cell isn't actually going to cut it anymore. Yeah, you can just read in with psychometry. <laughs> It'll just tell you what it is. Um, so, like, I, I don't know what kind of cell you want to throw in there. What do we even have? Lead acid cell might do it. But yeah, at that point, even a full charge in a solar cell isn't enough to cover Ezra. I suppose if we'd gotten that large capacity that you wanted to buy that one time, <laughs> that might have done it. Well, well, looks like I'm wrong again. <laughs> um... Okay, it's a learning. It's a learning experience. It's in um, probably trinkets or trade goods. Because um, polyhedral rings are technically trade goods. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't wear that. I guess maybe because, like, you have an extra face and it doesn't actually provide anything. No, okay. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It came off for some reason. Because it was equipped when I put the mask on. I don't know. In any case, I think we're going to end it here. Uh, mm -hmm. we have some time to kill. We have some downtime. And so we could mess around with dream smoke. We could do some more ru ruin diving. Uh, I usually take this opportunity to, to check out some stuff. We also have an extra historic site. Do you want to actually, let's, let's have a quick look at where that is. Yeah. Um, Tur Tursarook Garden. Two Persangs north of Omen Porch. What? That must be in the mountains. I think that's in the mountains. So we could do that one. That's actually not too bad, but it means drilling into the mountains. Oh, no, it's in the river. Uh, that's barely worth it. I mean, you could give it a try, but I don't know. How spicy are you feeling? Some. Some spicy. Some spicy, okay. All right. Well, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. And just comment a bunch of the spicy. Just spice us up. Ooh, so spicy. Ready. So spice. So spice. You went Adventure Time and I went Cursed Modern Technology. It's pretty good. All yeah. right. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.